This video is for students entering sixth year. So you've completed fifth year biology and you're entering into your final year. This video is to help you make a plan. So it's to kickstart your revision and it's going to run from September until midterm break, the end of October. So why should I bother starting from day one of the term? Well, it's really important to remember that the Leaving Cert Biology course, particularly the higher level course, is very long and detailed. It's too long to cram into a few weeks, so you have to revise. Also remember that the course is put together like a jigsaw. Every topic is connected. You can't leave anything out to be fully covered. So material covered in fifth year is very important. You also have to remember that biology is not your only subject. There's going to be other subjects where there's projects and portfolios due. So that's a heavy workload. So it's good to get biology out of the way. You also have to remember that life is for living, not fixating on exams. So taking time out is essential. Spacing your revision lets you do that. So aim to make an early start, ideally the first day of term in September, and also consider what is your grade target. So think about what you've got in fifth year and how you want to improve on that, or what do you need for the course you'd like to go to? So if there's a particular course that you're interested in, where does biology fit into this and how are you going to achieve the grade you need? So as well as covering whatever your teacher is covering in class, you're going to focus on Unit 1 and Unit 2 revision. So Unit 1, firstly, is the scientific method, the characteristics of life, nutrition, which is food and biomolecules, and ecology, which is a very long, detailed topic and is really important. For all of these topics, the definitions are vital. You have to know them and the practicals on food and the study of an ecosystem. Definitions, definitions, they are so important and students throw away marks by not learning them correctly. This is a list of all of the definitions in Unit 1. Really important that you go through each one of them, write them out and learn them. So when you're ready, you can pause the video and make a list of all of those definitions you've just seen on the screen. Get a notebook that's dedicated to them, coloured pens and perhaps make a table. Use your textbook, but also the official marking schemes on examinations.ie. When you're revising your content, it's very important to make it simple and not too wordy. So make graphic organizers, draw diagrams, do past exam questions. And most important that if you find something you really don't understand, flag it early with your teacher so they can help you. So next it's on to unit two, which is quite a complex unit, lots of detail. Cell structure, cell metabolism, which is huge because it's enzymes, photosynthesis, respiration, movement through membranes, which is osmosis and diffusion. But it also includes cell continuity, which is mitosis, which students find difficult and cell diversity. In addition to all of this is genetics. So this is part of unit two as well. So huge DNA structure, DNA replication, DNA profiling, protein synthesis, which students find difficult, genetic crosses, evolution, Gregor Mendel and his laws. Now, bear in mind that you might not have fully covered all of genetics. Just do as much as you can. But definitions and practicals again in unit two, very important. So just to help you out, I've gone through the syllabus and made a list of all of the definitions from Unit 2 that you need to know. So when you're revising, pause the video and get that notebook, your definition notebook out, get the coloured pens and add to your table. I would say that you have already covered most of Unit 1 and Unit 2. So that's a significant amount of content. Can you imagine having that all revised by midterm break? So get started. The earlier you start, the better. Take it really slowly. Don't overburden yourself, go really slow and be very thorough. And most important, know that you're running your own race. Don't be in competition with anybody else. Just do your own thing and the very best of luck.